Yo guys, what's going on? Today, I got another awesome video for you. I'm gonna show you guys how to make your CSGO more colorful. And I know a lot of people have been asking this question lately to other bigger YouTubers who might play with their settings like this. A lot of those YouTubers don't share their settings. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how exactly they do that. Now, a quick disclaimer, this is for NVIDIA users only. I'm not sure how you would do this for AMD users considering this has to do with your graphics card settings. So if you are an AMD user and you know how to change your color settings like I'm about to show you guys in this video, make sure you comment how to do it for other other AMD users down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do before we go back in game and actually change these settings is you're gonna wanna come down here to your search icon and type in GeForce Experience. This program should pop up right after you type in GEF. Again, it's called GeForce Experience. If you don't have this or if this doesn't pop up, I'm gonna have a link down in the description for you guys to download this. It is a very, very important software to have if you are an NVIDIA user. It is super, super important because you can adjust many different things, but it also allows you to update drivers when you need to update them. Once this does pop up for you though, go ahead and just click on it. And it's gonna open up the NVIDIA GeForce Experience program. And from here, all we need to do, there's only one setting we need to change. And that is if you come up here into the settings, click on this, and then make sure you guys have enabled experimental features. There's gonna be a box next to this. If it's empty, make sure you check mark it. This is super, super important to have. You need to have this enabled for this to work. Once you do that, go ahead and close out of the program. All right, so I'm gonna to have to record this next part in windowed mode, which may trigger some people, but unfortunately that's the only way I can get OBS to record these next steps. So basically what you're gonna to wanna to do from here is go ahead and press Alt and Z on your keyboard at the same time. This is gonna open up your GeForce Experience panel in game. And there's actually a lot of different things you can do on here, but the main thing we're gonna focus on today is game filter. Click this. What this is going to do is this is going to open up a bar on the left side of your screen that allows you to add filters. Go ahead and click on any one of these numbers up here. They're basically presets. I already have stuff on some of them. I'm going to go ahead on two because I know my two is clear. Once you're on your preset that you want to edit, go ahead and click add filter. And the filter we're looking for is color. Now when you click on this, you're going to notice your game looks a lot different immediately. If you click this drop down arrow right here, you're going to notice that there are different sliders you can move around. Now, these sliders are already pre-adjusted, so you can go ahead and just reset them to how you like. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the tint color and tint intensity all the way down to zero. Now, what we're looking for here is vibrance. Go ahead and boost vibrance all the way up to 100. Now, you're going to notice your CSGO gets a lot more colorful, and it actually makes it look really good. Now, some people might not like this vibrance to be boosted all the way up. Personally, I think it doesn't look that bad. I'm going to probably leave it around 80 or 70 myself. I think there looks pretty good. And uh, that's basically how you make CSGO more colorful. Again, you guys can mess around with some of these other settings if you're interested in them, but this is how you make CSGO more colorful. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was able to help you out. If I did, make sure you guys drop a like and smash that subscribe button. And also, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment them down below in the comment section or DM me on Discord. My Discord server is linked in the description, so feel free to join that and DM me. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.